in a state known for nothing but deserts, we have many good secrets. Really is a gem to have it here. We're at the U.S.-Mexico border on the Arizona National Scenic Trail. This is Border Monument 102 and it marks the southern terminus of the Arizona Trail. From here, trail users can go 800 miles all the way from Mexico to Utah. It doesn't all look like this though. There's a variety of different environments that you'll see. You'll see everything from grasslands, to giant saguaro cactus, to the largest ponderosa pine forest in the entire world, and cross rim to rim in the Grand Canyon, crown jewel of the Arizona Trail, before reaching Utah. We built good sustainable trail, we provide trailheads and access, but really the experiences that people have out there are their own. Whether they're hiking or running or mountain biking or horseback riding, they get to experience like a raw, beautiful side of Arizona that they probably wouldn't see otherwise. Well, I grew up in Colorado, so I enjoyed the mountains there. Moved to Florida and it's flat. Very different from where I'm from, enjoying the mountain air. Uh, the views are tremendous to be able to see across miles and miles and miles. So I just enjoy being out with my family. After trail users travel about 50 miles from the Mexican border, they reach the gateway community of Patagonia, where we are today. There's 33 gateway communities on the Arizona Trail, and each one of these helps not only the trail users to resupply and get back on the trail, but the trail users themselves bring a lot of money into these communities through resupply, places to stay, places to eat. It's a very important relationship between the trail users and the gateway communities. It is important to us to grow the ecotourism as uh, the, the base of our economy. And any increased activity that comes to the Arizona Trail will be of benefit to our community here at Patagonia and people will enjoy being here. It's a win-win for everyone. Wherever I go, I'm always improving the trail because uh, as a cowboy, I do a lot of that trail maintenance. So I contacted the organization just to let them know what I was doing and they said, oh, you should become a segment steward, you know, and they roped me in. They got me in official. I'm not an official type of person, but they got me signed up as an official segment steward. And boy, I just have had so much fun with it ever since. I don't know why it took that long to get involved. Volunteers have been critical to the Arizona Trail ever since its inception. It's volunteers who built the trail. It's the largest volunteer project in Arizona's history to build 800 miles of trail across the state, as well as we have volunteers who maintain the trail, go out on work events, and provide information for people looking to use the trail. I've been taking care of this segment for 11 years. still being built when I got involved with it and uh, Carrie and I became part of the Cienega, closed the gap 25 miles in two years and uh, we started helping with that and then we became segment stewards together. I was very excited about the fact that it was going to be something that was not only going to be here, but be able to last for generation after generation. So I started doing crew leading on building the trail. And just over time, started to kind of have a little bit of maybe a love affair. So then I wanted to become more involved with the trail. I was helping a lot of other people get through certain segments of the trail, and then I got to thinking, golly, you know, I kind of like to do this myself. 
there's a lot of diversity in the trail and so much variety and I think it surprises a lot of people how it's constantly changing. <laughs> We're at Colossal Cave Mountain Park, about five miles away from Sienega Creek on Passage 8, Rincon Valley. It's beautiful out here. There's fantastic trail for hikers, bikers, and equestrians. And this is also where we do our Arizona Trail Day. I knew it existed. It's uh, pretty awesome. I am section hiking it right now, um, and it's a lot of fun, great outdoor activity to get some sunshine and fresh air. One of the ways that you can do things is to send yourself packages ahead of time to the Gateway communities, or you can just resupply in the Gateway communities, pick up some extra food for the next leg. I've seen a lot of hikers come through. It's an awesome, awesome little, little wayfair as they're headed north, you know. They, they mail themselves packages and drop by and sometimes they mail themselves things on their way out. This is a very special place for me because this is where my entire Arizona Trail journey began. This is where I got the idea to hike the entire length of Arizona. I hiked the Arizona Trail all day long uh, from this trailhead, and when I was done, I realized there was so much more to do. I could keep going in either direction from Mexico to Utah. You don't need to do the entire Arizona Trail to enjoy it. You can go out and visit a trailhead, you can go for a day hike, you can go for a picnic. It's kind of a choose your own adventure. And so I tell people not to be intimidated by it, but just to kind of choose the pieces that they're most interested in. I think one of the big things about the Arizona Trail is they want to open up the state to people but not using asphalt and blacktop and let people experience what the state has to offer. Mm -hmm.